Hi everyone, welcome along today. Unfortunately I've still got the patch on, uh, hopefully it will be removed, yeah, a little bit of bleeding there to stay on a bit longer. Anyway, it's not what this video is about today. Today, if you've got one of those horrible baller fix valves, you know the ones with the screw that you turn, they always leak, don't they? Yeah, they're everywhere, they're a disaster. What's the best valve to replace them with? It's one of these I showed you the other day, if you saw my earlier video on these and it's one of these through ball valves they're fantastic they have a straight clear way through they do not restrict the flow in any way and that's one of the real beauties with our baller fixes they do cut down the flow so if you've got low pressure having those on there will make it even worse get rid of them and put one of these on that will always turn and never leak make sure it's a, a RAS approved one like that one and you know that it's a, a good one to fit. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to take one of those out and fit this in its place. So we'll get on with that job right away. Here then is the ball fix valve I'm going to replace. Now, it's one of those with a handle on it, so it's a little bit better than others. I'm going to change it anyway. Okay, most of them are just a screw through the middle that you turn. <clears throat> okay then, first things first. When you get your water off, there will be a little bit of water when you undo these nuts, okay? So don't worry, I've got a little container here I'm going to put under there. And we're going to get the nut moving now. It's going to be a bit tight when you first do them, so hold against. We can now put that out of the way. There. I'm going to put these on here. And turn this one down this way. Open this spanner up. And turn it like so. You can see it's gone there. Okay, and my little container's gone also, I'll put it back there in case there's any water in it. And we'll undo that side there. So, undo it. Right there. Get a little bit of water in it, not much. There we are. There's, a, there's the little bit of water that's in it. Not too bad. Now we'll undo the other side. <coughs> Once again, we will need to hold against because it will want to move. So put that back there, <coughs> out of the way. And we've got to get that held against on there because it's going to try and move around. So I'll put our container down and out of the way for a second. Most of it was out of it anyway. Then we're going to flick it up that way, like so. And there it goes. It's always a bit tight at the first pinch. After that, it gets moved. Put a container back, there's any more water there, and we'll just use a little, a little bit of stiff this one, it's got a bit more paint on it. And as you can see, this is coming on. Yeah. And that's it. There's our horrible baller fix out, and as you can see the restricted flow. Doesn't matter if it's got a little fancy handle on it or not, it's still a, a tiny little baller fix that will seize up in time. This is a slightly better make, admittedly, but it will still do the same thing as they all do, which is leak and not work, generally. <laughs> so, our new valve. So here we have it. Now, I've got a fair bit of room, and I think this will go straight on now. Because we're using the same nuts, on here, the same chrome nuts as well, and they're going to fit. I don't think we're going to need to actually take the nuts and all these off because those threads look like they're going to be the same. So we can literally slide it on and just do it up. See that? So, depending on which way you want your handle to go that way, or if you want it round that way, because you can turn these either way, have it that way, and have your valve up that way. Now, that, that's up to you. So, we can go that way. Or that way, there's no direction on these. Okay, so um, no, I'm not sure where I want mine that way. Yeah, I could do, we go that way. So these nuts, that's a good thing with these. All the fixed valves will go straight on the same thread. So it's very easy to replace your baller fix with one of these decent valves you know, that do this. And you can line this up any way you want. Okay, so I'm going to have it there and drop it down to there for on, and that's off position. So let's now we've got a handle on it now, so we can hold against with the handle. So it makes life a lot easier because 
we've now got something, we haven't got to put a spanner on the other side. We can get rid of my little container there now. No more water in it. And just lift it up. And there it goes, I can feel it going up there now. Give it a little pinch. Same this side. <coughs> again, a little pinch. There we go. I'm not saying that, the good thing about say so letting these on where it was a ball to fix you won't need these nuts on you can use the old ones if you're a bit worried about them put tape around them if you want um, a bit of PTFE tape if you're not sure um, but generally they are always all right so you can get away with it and if you want to put these on the original nuts that come with it then do so but remember you've got to knock those cones and olives or the sorry the olives and nuts off the old ones to put these on Percy as they're all chrome I don't see it's worth it if they were brass ones i would simply fit to the lock sort of thing but basically that's it so we turn the water back on down here that's it and now we should be tickety boo and there we go on off well i had a change of art and decided it was better the other way i don't know it just seems better to have the the short end there and the long body part there i kind of wondered really well that might be a weakness having that joint there so I've decided in the end that I will have the the feed side this side and have the valve work that way maybe me but um, say that that could be a weakness on the live side just 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 worrying you a little bit but not much <laughs> so I think if you're good maybe maybe have it that way in but that's for me so now that's on so there we are fairly simple thing get rid of one of these okay these horrors that restrict your flow so if you are having trouble especially with flow problems and pressure uh, it could well be one of these giving you the trouble because it's dropped it down considerably change it for one of those full bore flow valves and you'll find not only is it easy to turn off in future but you will get your full flow back as well so it's a very simple job to say you, you can use the old nuts because they fit, these are the nuts that came with that new valve and you can see they are the same. There's the old valve I've took off and they fit perfectly on this old valve. So you know they're going to fit the, the new one okay. So it makes it a really easy job. Okay, well that's about it though. I uh, hope that's helped you out. Next time you see me, hopefully this will be gone. Uh, <laughs> it stayed on longer than I thought, but never mind. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.